Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is an HL740 TM-7. It's a Series 7. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular loader in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and we'll run it in the third. Uh, this particular machine has got some issues on it, uh, so I'll talk about those here in a minute. I mean, it does run, it does operate. This loader's been here uh, since yesterday and it doesn't have any leaks under it, it doesn't have any leaks. Um, transmission shifts through the gears, all this other good stuff, but it does have, have an issue. Uh, if you buy this tractor from me or any of the other machines I have for sale, we've got a couple of 950s out there. Um, we've got a 938G, actually we've got two 938Gs. We got that Cat 140, we got that Cat 926C. We got other loaders here, so uh, so if you call and this one's not of any interest to you, we do have some others that we can talk about. Uh, point is, is that if you buy any machine from me, you're going to be dealing with the man running the camera right now, the guy by the name of Pro Provencio. And uh, without further ado, we're going to get into the specifics of this machine. So a new machine like this uh, these days is, oh, the serial number of this machine, before I forget, is um, F02101617. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. I can hardly read that, and I don't have my glasses on, so I think that's a serial number, close enough. Um, the hours on this machine are 4,389 hours. As far as manufacturers go, uh, Hyundai's made tremendous inroads into the North American market. They're all over the world. Uh, this particular machine weighs 26,565 pounds. The widest point is this bucket right here at eight foot four inches. Highest point is the top of that cab at 10 foot eight inches. And the transportation length from the front of that cutting edge to the end of the counterweight is uh, 25 feet. We're doing this in here because it's kind of warm outside and we're getting out of the shade. Uh, comparable machines are like a K621, maybe a Cat 936E, or a Komatsu WA320. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost all the machines we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because it's got very little rust on it. I mean, you'll see where the uh, paint's flicked off and, uh, you know, the rainwater's gotten to it, but it in no way or shape or form is rust pervasive. Um, we're far enough south and we're 300 miles from the ocean, so the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen tables. Um, We bought a lot of loaders from the previous owner of uh, this machine, and uh, we've had tremendous luck with them. They, they got an excellent maintenance program that rivals some of the best I've seen. We've been happy with all the machines that we purchased from these guys, and it should be said that before I purchase any machine, my mechanics go out and they thoroughly inspect it, and if they say everything is, or they'll cite the issues on the machine, They'll tell them the pro and we'll decide whether we're going to buy the machine or not. The pro goes out and he inspects it and then he reports back to me. And then uh, if the money's right on the machine, with or without warts, you know, we take everything into consideration. We uh, decide whether we're going to buy it and then I go out and I do a final inspection. So um, this machine has got a quick coupler. We're selling this machine as is. This We could not get this quick coupler to work. It may be a solenoid or something. We don't know what it is, but uh, it does have a quick coupler. Uh, we do not have forks. Uh, it does have auxiliary hydraulics up there. Uh, it's got a key battery disconnect, which is good if you're gonna have the machine setting for an extended period of time. You can turn, cut the power off to the machine so you don't have any kind of uh, uh, battery leakage as far as volt, in terms of volts. 
It's got a hydraulic fan, which you say, what good is a hydraulic fan? Well, you can get to all, you can actually remove that fan, kind of swing it out of the way. You gotta undo some bolts and stuff, but, uh, which isn't the greatest design. You know, they should have just had a latch, but you, you can get to all four, all, uh, all corners and edges of your, of all your coolers, your oil cooler, your, your, um, radiator, so on and so forth. Um, this engine right here, this is a Cummins engine. It's a very common engine. It's a QSB 5.9. It's got a net horsepower of, uh, 140 and as you can see there it's got a turbo on it fluid levels on this tractor are where they should be. And I say right now because uh, now I'm going to get into what uh, what's, what's the issue with this machine. Um, now with that being said, there's no leaks on this tractor and everything works. Now here's, here's what's wrong with the machine. Is after you run the machine for a while, it actually transfers, it, 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 there's a seal in the uh, hydraulic pump that's uh, letting uh, uh, oil leak past that seal and it actually transfers the oil into the, into the uh, transmission, um, into the transmission. So over time you're, you're losing oil into the uh, transmission. So that's, that's what's wrong with this machine. Um, but I'm selling it and I'm gonna have a price to reflect that. Um, it's, it's uh, transferring oil. Now that can be fixed. We're, I'm not wanting to fix it right now. If I keep the machine, maybe I'll fix it. Now if I do fix it, I'm probably gonna sell it for three times what I'm selling it right now, but we just don't have the time to mess with it. Uh, like I say, the transmission runs through all the gears without hesitation. Top speed on this tractor is 24 miles and forward, uh, uh, 16 in reverse. Uh, it is a four-wheel drive machine. As you can see, these tires are in excellent shape. They're about 75% all the way around. There's no cuts on them. Um, the hydraulics are strong on this unit. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in this work equipment here. There's no deflection or any kind of problem in those two kingpins for this articulation joint. It's good and tight. And as far as things wrong, I think one of these lights isn't working. It's uh, transferring oil and also it's missing the cutting edge. We didn't do that. Oh, and the, uh, like I say, the coupler, we didn't mess with that. The coupler's not working. Um, this loader bucket right here is eight foot four inches wide. It's three foot ten inches tall. It's three and a half foot deep. Um, this hinge pin right here, if you were uh, loading into a dumpster or whatever, the uh, hinge, maximum hinge pin height is thirteen foot six inches. Uh, the lifting capacity of this loader, uh, the static tipping load is uh, seventeen thousand five hundred and thirty pounds. So the lifting capacity of this loader is limited by its static tip, tip load, which simply stated the hydraulics of this machine are so powerful that the machine will actually tip forward before the uh, hydraulics give out. So the lifting capacity is limited to the weight of this machine opposite its fulcrum. So uh, what else, bro? You got it covered. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a good running loader, but it does have those, uh, these minor issues. So. Uh, it is what it is. We're going to run it in the next clip.
fixing to take off and I had all those windows open. Go ahead, Pro. You're good. just uh it just has that issue it just has a seal that's uh, blown in the uh in the pump that's making it uh it's making it um it's low houred that seal is making that uh making it lose hydraulics into the transmission it really sucks maybe i will fix it i don't know We'll see. If you don't buy this loader, I'm gonna fix it. Okay, this is the inside of the cab here. We really hadn't cleaned it out too much. Um, there's your air conditioner and your radio. Uh, the air conditioner actually blows cold, so for what it's worth. You've got a uh, load sensing system here. Start up all the gauges work, all the idiot lights work. Uh, there's your load. You know, here's for your auxiliary hydraulics. Now if you go into this mode here and you go down to diagnostics, engine, fault codes. There's no errors. Come back up here. Go to uh, diagnostics for the uh, transmission. Fault codes. There's no there's no fault code errors either for the transmission or the uh, engine. This AC is blowing. It's not super cold, but it's cold enough. Uh, there's your hour meter reading. There's your little printer. Control. I think that's a little inline uh, fuel filter, maybe a hydraulic filter. That's pretty much it.